Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. In this video today, we're talking about the assault on ATT 16 game mode. It's the new one brought in this week from the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC, and this is a lot of fun. It really is. So this video, I'm going to tell you or show you not only how to play this adversary mode, uh, basically, you know, give you some tips and tricks, but also, you know, help you maximize your money as well. Because this week it is double cash money. That's the way it should always be for these. Uh, you have an opportunity to make millions of dollars this week. So I want you guys to definitely take advantage of that. All right. And again, I'll be covering pretty much everything you guys need to know. And first thing we'll do is we'll talk about how to actually start this game mode assault on ATT 16. So first of all, you can just launch this from the dashboard on your console or from whatever launcher you're using, whether it's on PC. And it's highlighted right here. You can also just launch it from the map. The There's an icon, the Assault on ATT-16 icon. You can just launch it from there. You can also pull out your phone, go through the series modes, and just join on call. Or you can just join it through the options menu by going into missions and then selecting your adversary mode. And it's the first one up top. As you're loading in, pay attention to this. You also have weapon loadouts. You have infantry, which will give you a service carbine, a pistol mark II, grenades, and a knife. Okay, and then you also have the demolition loadout. The demolition loadout will give you the pump shotgun mark to the machine pistol, sticky bombs, and a knife. And then your third weapon loadout is going to be the reconnaissance loadout. And this will give you a heavy sniper, a mini SMG, tear gas, and a knife. And don't worry, you can also change these weapon loadouts on the fly if you're in the actual uh, game mode itself you'll see there's a little weapon icons on your mini map and you can go here and you can uh, just pick out whichever one you want to go with whatever weapon is a, a little particular loadout location for each one and you can also pick up random weapons across the map as well there's rpgs uh up an atomizer uh there's you know the the laser gun as well i forgot which one is it the Widowmaker, or i forgot which one it is you can pick those up across the map. Now you are either going to be on the assaulting team or the defending team. If you are assaulting, you complete each stage by destroying both terminals A and B. You hack a control panel to initiate the self-destruct. You can also complete bonus objectives for each stage as well before you get to the last stage on the carrier. You can view these objectives anytime during the match and you'll have individual and team objectives. For example, uh, for individual objectives, I have to take out two players in a single orbital strike, hack two terminals, and take out a single parachuting player. And the team has objectives, uh, deliver an upgrade, and get 25 player headshots. And you'll earn extra cash for that. There are also data drives that are in each stage of this game mode. And you either have to assault or defend these. And if you are the assaulter, once you pick these up and grab these, it'll give you some extra cash as well so that's pretty cool and if you defend these it also helps out for you so make sure you guys pay attention to like the little side quests uh for some strategies you definitely want to control the orbital cannon there are orbital cannon uh terminals that you can use for each stage you'll see them you'll, they'll be highlighted on the map as a little orbital cannon strike icon and then using these and controlling these and using them in the right time can definitely be beneficial as you see right here you can clear out a whole entire terminal and defend or help assault it you can also spawn vehicles. You can spawn motorcycles or even planes, just depending on what stage you're at. There's also some new awards to unlock. Uh, the first one up is the priority boarding. You have to win an assault on ATT-16 in under 25 minutes as the attacking team. Uh, there's a not a scratch uh, award as well. Win assault on ATT-16 without any parts of the aircraft carrier being destroyed. Basically, just defend until or defend the stage before you get to the carrier. The third one is the happy landings. Complete 20 bonus objectives and assault on ATT-16. And then the last one is going to be the hard drive hoarder. So uh, you just have to steal, you know, you have uh, bronze, silver, gold, platinum awards. So make sure you guys pay attention to that and get those, uh, get the extra cash for it and get the awards knocked out. Another very useful strategy is to make sure that you have uh, some players on your team that are good pilots. Uh, the pilots or the planes in the game can be used very effectively. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're an attacker or a defender. You have access to the planes in the game and you can use those to full effect. Now, if you are a defender, you'll have access as a spawn in to the you. rogue, but it just has the up. machine guns. However, either team, attack or defender, can steal the rogues on the ground. They are the gold and black ones. You'll find them over here by the hangar at the end of the uh, of the Fort Zenkudu Air Force Base. And these will have bombs and missiles, and you can definitely provide some much needed air support 
and not only just bomb the terminals into oblivion you can take out vehicles um you can take out other planes because you have missiles and also you can be effective against you know stopping the motorcycles coming in to defend by locking on with some of the homing rockets and worst case scenario you can kamikaze and use your plane as a missile as well now when you are assaulting and you're trying to hack a terminal and set it off the self-destruct sequence it's a very similar little uh hack method that you know of you just go use the directional keypad and then to defend or deactivate the terminal you just simply smash the x button or whatever it is for you know a thing for xbox whatever it is for pc and you can deactivate the uh, sequence now if you're defending on the very first stage this is the most effective and most efficient way to make money with this is you want to be a defender and you want to be able to defend the very first stage it's just 10 minutes and as you see right here you can make over one hundred and seventy thousand dollars so that's really the i can just tell you right now that's the best way to make money with this game mode you can make great money but the time to money ratio if you go all the way to the end is Damn going it. to be an issue so keep that in mind now when you do you know inevitably get murked out pay attention you have a respawn menu and you can respawn and, and use different vehicles for example using the cargo bob just like assault on kayo um you can use the cargo bob and you can position it in different spots of the map so you can give yourself a spawn point closer to your uh your terminals where you can use uh you know the buildings use the roofs hide them a little bit closer or wherever you gotta be that's definitely gonna be an effective uh tactic as well now as you are defending you see right now i'm on the second stage uh once you win this you'll see yeah you do get more money I, I overall however um it's just not worth the time to money race you see right here i'm making Damn, 200, 200 over 200 000, 000 right there it could be a little bit more definitely right but it's again Damn. you know it's, it's just a fun game mode it really is i don't mind playing it all the way through uh but the second stage also has this issue right here it's very difficult to defend the terminals because you have to you know either fly in or and get shot down by someone a good pilot right or you have to clear the fence Solid or ramp it and you kind of it's, it's a choke point so you know pay attention to that i don't that's, that's one thing i don't like about this map is the second stage defense now once you get to the carrier and you're defending you have to the first level you have to defend these terminals there are six different terminals they're basically just like little satellite arrays you have to defend those you've got any aircraft weapons on the deck this is a really cool fun game uh you know elements with this particular mode uh, so you, you're, you're kind of like defending it's like world war ii right the battle of midway it's a lot of fun the planes have to you know kamikaze into the satellite arrays or blow them up with the rockets or the uh explosive cannons that they got it's just a lot of fun it's really cool you see the cinematic the action is a blast you have a, you know very it's it's been very easy to get 30 people into these maps again rockstar keep the pay the way it is as you see right here i made with spawn yeah, we have to go to the aircraft uh, a rogue in like it would be a motorcycle and then you have explosive cannons but it's only for this particular initial stage and then once you take out the arrays right here you're able to spawn on the actual carrier itself and you will be able to advance to the next stage which you have at alpha and bravo terminal watch the uh, right so it's pretty cool there's three different up. stages on the actual carrier itself so while the most efficient way to make money is to just be the defender and win the first uh, you know stage it is totally worth it to go all the way through and have a lot of fun oh, with it what? and defend all the way to the uh, aircraft carrier all right now once you're on the bottom side you have to defend these terminals right here and there's multiple ways to get into where you have to be you can you know use the dinghies you can spawn on those uh you can you know assault from the rear of the ship from the front of it the stern the bow from port from starboard it's really cool and as the enemy team as the attackers destroy terminals their timer increases you see right they got five extra points uh and you have to eventually defend the hangar bay and de and prevent the the attacking team from flying the raiju out of the hangar it's a lot of fun it's really cool you see right here I'm, I'm trying to close the doors back we defended right here you have to go to the green little corona ring and you have to push the doors closed that's a lot of that's really cool i, I definitely appreciate Yo, it cover it's me. a lot of fun i wish that rockstar somebody kept assault on kayo in the game because you'd have a good little one-two punch between both of these game modes but yeah they need to keep Yo, what's my the payout doing? double it needs to be double for standard as you see right here we oh won got God, all the I way through made two hundred fifty-six thousand. so i made less than a hundred thousand dollars more shit. than just defending the initial stage it took like an extra 25 minutes right or about an extra 20 minutes <laughs> as you see right here <laughs> i wanted to be the guy <laughs> sorry buddy but i wanted to you know check the uh, the rise you out we were on the attacking team right here made it all the way through you jump into the Raiju, make your way out. Hopefully you don't, you know, crash and burn on the way out. 
And as you see, we do make a little bit more money on the attacking team than you would on the defending team, just depending on the objectives that you get knocked out. But like I said, and I think you know you would all agree, it's oh, like, yeah. well worth it to go all the way through. But yeah, time to money ratio, uh, <laughs> just defending the first stage will be where you want to go. I made two hundred sixty-three thousand nine seventy all the way through winning the game. There got great RP. Uh, so, you know, it's a very fun game mode. I just hope that Rockstar buffs the payout. They pay attention to what we're saying here because it's very fun. This is so much fun. It's really cool. I love this. Bring Assault on Kayo back. Buff the payouts on that too, Rockstar. You know, if you win, you should be making $300,000, right? Easy, right? Even the even the losers should be making 50% of that. They should be making about 150 grand because it is a lot of time. You're spending 25 to 30 minutes on this uh, you know game mode from start to finish so you should you know the payout should reflect that all right so there you guys have it let me know if you got anything you want to add in the comments down below if you got any questions leave them in the comments down below then i want to i want to know from you guys are you enjoying this game mode everyone that i've talked to says they love it i love it. i think it's great so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below thank you all so much for watching make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game smash i mean it's must match that like button We'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out. Yeah.